What's up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add live stream video to your Wix website. The method I'm going to show you today is via Twitch. Um, a lot of you may have livestream.com or other live stream methods. However, I'm going to focus on Twitch because I've gotten a couple questions about that and how to just add live stream to your Wix website. I am going to work on getting more videos together for other live stream platforms like Livestream.com, but today we're focusing on Twitch. Now before we get into that guys, three days including today until the cutoff for the contest for my free custom Wix web design. So there will be one winner. You can enter that contest by going down in the description below, checking out the video, watching and figuring out those few quick and basic requirements to enter the contest, and then you're in. Again, you have until this Saturday, April, 3rd, or April 29th to enter, and then April 30th is when I will announce the winner of that free Wix custom Wix web design contest and who wouldn't want a free Wix website built from me to you and this is to show my appreciation for you guys over the past couple of years on this channel going along those lines really quick um, I am available available for uh, hire here on Wix so if you guys are interested in using me for full Wix web design or uh, little jobs here and there throughout your Wix website I'm available for hire for that uh, I know I've gotten several emails from you guys via YouTube and via emails um, that asking me if I'm available to do Wix web design work and I definitely am and I'm even now a certified Wix trainer um, so that's pretty awesome I just got that certification from Wix uh, the actual company Wix.com and uh, yeah so I'm very excited for that now anyway let me hop into today's video so I'm gonna go on a new page now guys this may see, seem a bit confusing to you um, and I'm gonna try to help you through it as best as I can so there's not really a live stream app for Twitch. However, you're allowed to add custom HTML. And we have discussed this in several videos over the past couple of years. So to add the custom HTML, you go to add and you go down to more and then you go to HTML code. You then click that into here and then you'll have just this gray box. You're going to click enter code and then you'll see website address. You don't want that. You want code. And this is where you would enter your code. Now, obviously, you need to figure out what specific code you need to enter here. So, I've done this, guys. I found this website for you, um, and frankly, to help me show you. Um, and this is Twitch, uh, the embed code. So, these are all the different embedding videos and clips you can see as the title. So they have a couple different types of embed code here. You can embed on-demand videos, you could embed your live stream, and they can be either interactive or non-interactive frames. It's completely up to you and what your live stream is and how it's gonna function. Uh, you can see right here, VOD is video on-demand. This is past broadcasts, highlights, or uploads. And then you can see down here, you can embed live streams and uh, videos on demand right through here. So I am going to put the link to this website in the description below But let me show you the one I have found to probably be the best for you guys It's this one right here that says interactive frames for live streams and BODs So you would have to copy this code right here copy Add it into here if you click update you can see nothing's popped up yet because there's some information you have to put in. Now, it's going to be too confusing to show you how to add it on here. And guys, if you want to put this in like a Word document or a notepad and do it in there before you put it into here, because you can see this is it's a kind of a tight space to work with as far as code goes, um, you can definitely do that. So what you have to change is you'll see right here for interactive frames, for live streams and VODs, you'll see a couple things. You'll see channel ID. So whatever your channel ID is, you have to add that right there. Then video ID. So if you have a live stream going, your video ID would go right here. And then your collection ID. So if this is in a certain collection um, of videos, you need to put that collection ID right there. Once you add these three pieces of information, what should happen is your live stream should appear right here um, because it's actually taking those 
pieces of data your channel name all of that the reason it's not showing up right there with this code is because we don't have any channel named and we don't have any uh, channel ID or video ID or collection ID put into this code so that's how you would add your live stream via twitch guys I know that might seem a bit confusing and feel free to comment down below but if this video did help you out please drop me a like down below much appreciated comment if you have any questions whatsoever and again I will put the link to this twitch website with all the different uh, embed codes in the description below and then don't forget to subscribe to me here on computer MD of Gilbert as we have a ton of more exciting Wix content coming up guys that contest is coming quickly to an end so go enter make sure you enter before this Saturday coming up April 29th the winner will be announced April 30th a free custom Wix web design website built from me to you show my appreciation for you guys over the course of the past few years again there is one winner for that so make sure you enter and don't forget if you have any web design needs any full website builds little Wix jobs here and there please feel free to shoot me an email um, I'm usually willing to help with like some little issues but a lot of like the bigger actually invasive going into your website issues I do charge for especially for full web design builds as that would probably be expected um, but yes so I'm here to help you out feel free to email me and we'll get something set up get you going thank you guys again for watching today's video and I will catch you on the next one